Hello everyone, welcome to our channel once again. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this. Senator Ifan Uba, representing Anambra South Senatorial Zone in the Senate, made headlines last week as he officially switched his allegiance from the Young Progressive Party to the All Progressive Congress. Following the announcement of his defection during a Senate session, Senator Uba was warmly welcomed by the APC National Chairman Abdullahi Ganduje. In his letter to the Senate explaining his decision, Senator Uba cited several reasons for his move, including his faith in the leadership of the APC, his appreciation of Bola Tinubu's inclusivity towards the Igbo community, and the desire to connect his constituency, constituency with the National Center. However, many speculate, many speculate that this move is primarily aimed at positioning himself for the 2025 gubernatorial gubernatorial race. This development is perceived as an attempt to change the re-election of Prof, Professor Chukuma Soludo, Soludo as the governor of Anambra State in 2025. Senator Uba has never concealed his ambition to govern Anambra and has previously vied for the position under multiple political parties, including APGA, PDP, Labour Party, and YPP. If he decides to run for governor in 2025 under the APC, it will mark his fifth gubernatorial campaign with different parties. Political analyst and lawyer Barrister Paul Ezechi commented on Uba's move, emphasizing his timelines, timeline, timelines in line with his gubernatorial aspirations. There are also rumors that Senator Uche Ekunife, another seasoned governorship contender, is contemplating a shift to the APC with the assistance of Hope Uzodima of Imo State and David Umayi, former governor of Ebony State, both prominent APC members. Ezechi suggested that while Uba's defection might not deter Ekunife's potential move, it does signal a competitive landscape for the governorship race involving Uba. Ekunife and Andy Uba and the party's previous gubernatorial candidate. Uba's defection triggered a reaction from members of APGA, with many accusing him of this desperation. Some pointed out that the APC faces challenges in Anambra and suggested that his ambition to occupy the governorship seat was the motivation behind his return to the APC, which he had denied in 2019. An APGA chief Dan, chieftain, Mr. Chinedu Obigwe downplayed the, the significance of Uba's defection, emphasizing that Abga is familiar with his political maneuvers and has successfully faced him in previous gubernatorial elections. While Senator Uba lost the 2021, 2021 go governorship election, he remains influential in the Nwe Nnewi area and represents the entire Anambra South Senatorial Zone, comprising seven local government areas where the incumbent governor, Professor Chukuma Soludo, hails from. Anambra follows an unwritten agreement for the rotational governorship seat among the three senatorial zones after Mr. Peter Obi's eight-year term from the central zone, power shifted to the northern senatorial zone, leading to Obiano's eight-year tenure with Abga. Soludo hails from the southern senatorial zone, and it is expected that the zone will secure a second term after its initial Tenure. However, it is believed that a strong candidate from the southern zone, like Uba, could challenge Soludo's position. Additionally, Mr. Valentine Ozibo, associated with the Labour Party and aligned with Mr. Peter Obi, is also from the southern zone, while Uche Ekunife, another gubernatorial hopeful, has connections to both the central and southern zones. Well, for you to win in politics, you have to plan ahead of time you have to take you know be two step or four step ahead of your or, you know your your opponent uh i think that is what uh, senator ifan yoba just did you know uh, a certain senator from ypp who just uh, defected to apc you know uh ifan yoba i think this is not it, it, it's been a dream for him to become a governor for Nambra state he has campaigned rigorously. I think he has campaigned. I think he has done that four times through some major political party trying to see if he can uh, win and become the governor of the state. But all through his struggle, he has not been able to make it. 
But he settled in Senate. I think this is the second time as a senator, you know, through YPP. But you know, uh, for you to win in 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 politics, you have to strategize. You have to to sit down, count your costs, you know, and auto map out strategies that will allow you to be able to you know uh, win election in terms of in terms of party structure. In terms of the range, you can you know sp uh, spread your 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 network, and uh, with what is happening, uh, if any of seems that the YPP does not have that structure that can give him an umbra in you know, those states for him to be governor, and he quickly switched, you know earlier, this is 2023, an umbra governorship election will be coming in 2025. He quickly switched his alliance from YPP to, to 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 APC, which is the ruling party. And we know the way it is here. You know, when you are in the ruling party, when it comes to presidential, you know, any governorship election, any election generally, you will have upper hand. You know, the federal might is behind you. You know, the more the more people they get elected, the more. The more you know, people, they are, the, the political party elected to office, the bigger they become and stronger they is. So, and Rufanyo uh, who is always NATO, crossing carpet from YPP to, to APC has also boosted the APC numbers in the, in the, in the uh, Red Chamber. Now, uh, Professor Charles Ludo is the current governor of Anambra State. He, is, he, be tr he has tried to contest under PDP and he lost and he went you know, and all that and now he's in Abuga. Abuga is a ruling party you know in the APC in, in the Ab Anambra for, for a very long time since the time of um I think uh, Anambra uh, APC um, Abuga has ruled Anambra for eight, 16 years. Peter Obi did 8 years and uh, uh, William Obiano have done 8 years. You know Charles Ludo is, is there now but they need a strong opposition which can be able to 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 fight and win that election for them in another for them for, for another party to come in and the only party that is capable of doing that is pdp and apc and you know uh if Anuba, who has been dreaming of becoming the senate uh, a governor of anambra state a member of ypp you know a uh, senator of, or under ypp has just crossed carpet to 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 apc and the rumor is that he is strategically positioning, positioning himself for the 2025 governorship race. You know, uh, that is subject to, to the APC primary because it's not automatic. No matter how you do it, you have to come out for primary. And if you win the primary ticket, there you go. So uh, that is the happening now. But uh, <laughs> I don't know how easy it's going to be for him because Ludo is not going to fold his hand and lose his election bid. For 2025. Well, just um, comment and let me know what you think concerning this. Thank you.